Rob Williams. I'm Amber J. On Thin for Trisha Mackey. And police say six year old James Hutchinson was murdered and his body thrown into the Ohio River. And investigators say his mother, Brittany Gosney, confessed to it all, and her boyfriend, James Hamilton, is also facing charges accused of helping to get rid of her son's body. Tonight, our team coverage continues. Jessica Schmidt is live after speaking with psychologists about this horrific case and the impact it could have for those involved. And Courtney King is live in Middletown after attending a vigil for James. Let's start with her. Yeah, Robin Amber. So right now we are live at Gardner Park here in Middletown because this is where dozens of people showed up to support James Hutchinson for a vigil and a balloon release. So we're going to show you what's left of the vigil earlier today. These candles were lit beautifully. There was light everywhere. And as you can see, those red cups were candles as well. And then we want to show you these ribbons that are tied to the fence. These were the balloons that they used for the balloon release, and they had them tied to the fence so that they wouldn't blow away while they did the candlelight vigil of it. And several people who never even knew James showed up to show their support and love for the child. But many of his family members were here as well, including his father, who is still trying to grasp what happened to his son. He killed my son, dude. Like, I don't even know how to process all of this. On a cold and windy Monday night, dozens of people showed up to show love and support to James Hutchinson. I want them both to rot. That's what I want. Authorities say Hutchinson's mother, Brittany Gosney, drove her son to a Preble County park, abandoned him, and then ran him over when he tried to get back into the car. Police say she then dumped him in the Ohio River with help from her boyfriend, James Hamilton. Lewis Hutchinson, the boy's father, is wrecked with grief. No kid ever deserves to be treated like that. I don't know how somebody could be a monster and do that to a six-year-old. James was known for his big smile and giving good hugs. You could have the worst day on the, uh, on the planet, and then as soon as you see him, it just changed. <laughs> A child looks for comfort in his mom. Your mom's supposed to be your superhero, and his mom ca caused his death, and at the end of the day, was his monster. Melody Vassis never knew James, but he inspired her to put the vigil together at Gardner Park in Middletown. I literally put a post out on Facebook, and everybody in the community reached out. While the candles and the colorful balloons brought beauty to the night, the pain and loss is still heavy. It's crazy, dude. I want justice for him. That's what I want. And I'm sorry. I can't say no more. And James was in the first grade at Rosa Parks Elementary here in Middletown. The school district will be holding a celebration of his life tomorrow night at 645 at Barnett's Park. The district is also providing grief counselors for students and staff and really anyone who needs one. But we're live in Middletown tonight. Courtney King, Fox 19 Now.
missing from Middletown was killed and thrown in the Ohio River, police said Sunday night. His mother is charged with murder. James Robert Hutchinson was reporting missing Sunday morning by his mother, Brittany Gosney, officials said in a statement. Sadly, upon further questioning of Brittany Gosney and her boyfriend, James Hamilton, they now say that James was killed in Preble County a few days ago, the statement said. The child's body was brought back to Middletown, where they live, and later put into the Ohio River. Middletown police said they are beginning the work needed to recover his body from the river. The river is very high and treacherous, so we will not be disclosing the exact location in hopes of avoiding another tragic incident, police said. Gosney, 29, is charged with murder, abuse of a corpse and tampering with evidence. Hamilton, 42, is charged with abuse of a corpse and tampering with evidence. Police said two other children lived with the couple but have been removed from the residence. Middletown officials will be working with the Preble County Sheriff's Office, the Butler County Prosecutor and the Preble County Prosecutor as the investigation continues. The Middletown Division of Police would like to thank the many people that came out to help search for James and the organized search teams that responded, officials said Sunday night.
Municipal Court here in town is also located, and that's where we have just obtained new court documents that are shedding light on a story that becomes more tragic and more disturbing as we continue to dig into it. This has to do with the death now of little James Hutchinson. He was six years old. He lived here in Middletown. Essentially, Middletown police say his mom, 29-year-old Brittany Gosney, reported him missing to Middletown police yesterday on Sunday. But then Middletown officers say as they interviewed mom and her boyfriend, 42-year-old James Hamilton, uh, they later uncovered, uh, officers say that Brittany admitted to them uh, that she killed her son, six-year-old James Hutchinson, uh, again at Rush Run Park in Preble County. It's about uh, 15 miles from here in Middletown. It's a nature preserve area in Preble County. It's state-owned. It's not uncommon for people to fish at that park, at the lake that's there. Uh, then Middletown police say that uh, Brittany and her boyfriend uh, brought the child's body back here to Middletown, kept it in their home here in the city, and then a day later dumped little James's body in the Ohio River. As of right now, crews have not found his body, but they're working to change that. They are searching the Ohio River today, today to uh, try and recover his remains. This couple has a court hearing today. We also expect to hear from Middletown police at a press conference, so we'll keep you up to date on all the new details as we continue to follow this story.